JV and Elvis. All right, so he didn't claim to be Jesus, but Baldwin is still yeah, it's on his Christian running tirade. his mouth. Yeah, totally. Well, right now, of course, we had him on yesterday. Now he's um, <clears throat> he's praying for all the celebrity sinners out there. Okay, if you're a celebrity, you're probably in Stephen Baldwin's prayers right now. He says he's praying for Tom Cruise. He says, "quote The Spirit of God has put Tom Cruise in my heart. I'm praying for him." He's also praying for Brad Pitt right what now. What is he doing? I don't know. What the hell are you I doing? I don't know. He's also praying for Brad Pitt. He says, Brad comes from Christian roots. I pray that he'll do the right thing and marry that girl. Meaning, of course, Angelina Jolie. Is it possible that all of this is a setup to I a big joke? I think it is. <laughs> no. Jeez, I'm, Brad, I'm starting to think like that it. now. He's not that good of an actor. <laughs> <laughs> He's not. Good point. Good point. Good point. That is true. But I mean, to to make that comment, I pray that he marries that girl. Yeah, That's right. come, come on. on. That's weak. He's also praying for Hillary Clinton. He says, "I pray that the spirit of God will come upon her and result in her having just a little bit more fun in life." What are you doing? Who cares? Jesus. Either he's totally cooped, cracked out, yeah. gone. Did. Too much drugs. And is right. he following these Christian morals and values to the law to the letter, or is he probably not. just doing what he wants to do to make it work for him, like most people? You know what I'm saying? Right. How does he announce this? Is there a, a podium outside his house? <laughs> I don't like, know. And today we yeah. pray for Hillary Clinton. Have a good time. He's Thank all, you. Right. I'll be back out tomorrow at I, ten. Yeah. He's also <laughs> praying for Elton John to get a better crotch wig. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, he's, he's praying for uh, Lou to find a better barber. All right. <laughs> well, I'm praying he's, for that, too. He's praying for Rudy to move out of his house for once and for all. That prayer okay. will be answered soon. Are you sure? <laughs> and he's praying for Oprah to come out of the closet. All right. Which I don't think <laughs> ever going to happen. I don't think that one's ever going to happen. Now, which one of those are, uh, yeah, of all of those, which ones were real? Who's he really praying oh, for? Oh, for uh, Brad Pitt. <laughs> For Tom Cruise and for Hillary Clinton. Okay. Yeah. Wow. All those. Because he's in his heart. By the way, I should let you know, yeah. because of the way you treated um, Mr. Baldwin yesterday, that contact is completely obliterated for us. What do you mean? This, How this did we publicist. treat him? We treated him with respect. Well, he hung up, and he was very but upset. But that's on him. That's why I don't think he's joking, because yeah. we were having yeah. okay. some fun with him. And he was pissed. And then he hung up. So that's... And his people... Uh, they rep they people. represent a good amount of people That's that we mid-days. wanted to get. No, but these are like, you know, really, really big guests that are just gone. That's and, what sucks about this business is uh, one person, one publicist will or it's their true. their group will Black represent yeah. it's true. four thousand artists. It's and what the they'll do is about. it's the PR people. Right. And what uh, they'll do is they'll say, Before you're gonna get an A lister, you're gonna have to do Five B listers, and then they'll they will they'll eventually yeah. give you that A listers. Okay, so that one's gone. Yeah, fine. All right. And oh, there's an end. There's some and. icing on the cake. Okay. Although well, it hasn't that's been using my job. <laughs> although it hasn't been confirmed yet, we're hearing that the uh, Napoleon Dynamite's representative is very pissed off. Wait a sec, why? And they're just saying. Never again will we give you a guest for this show. So we have two major publicists that after have after today. What the hell? Well, we might be able to get the wow. guy who played Sticks on Happy Days, but other than that, who was Sticks? I don't even yeah. know. Who that well, was. F him. Sticks, I thought. Who's Sticks and Sticks and Sticks and Stones. I'm so talented. We don't need a guest. We don't screw him. I don't even need a partner or a producer. Oh, no, that's I lie. definitely don't need no junk face goon. I don't even need a phone up here. You know what? I don't even. I don't, you know? I don't even need the microphone. Fine. That was a laugh at something I said off the air. Uh, it was, right. Oh, my God. Don't do that to me again, okay? <laughs> Walter Long Island, what's up? Yeah, you guys are talking about Stephen Baldwin praying for everybody. Everybody, all celebrity sinners, yes. He's got to pray for himself to get some work, uh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah How about nice. praying for a job? Yeah, get yourself right. a gig there, bud. Show me praying for a job. Let's go to George, Rockland County. What's up, George? George. Yeah, house. What? what? What's going on, guys? Listen, I got a cousin. Oh, by the way, the show is a little gay, but... Yeah. <laughs> well, we picked it up, all right? Drop that. It's funny, It's funny. so that's all that matters. All right, right? thanks. Okay. Well, I am. Go I ahead. Actually, 
I actually have a cousin that lives out in Harvestro, Rockland County. Mm-hmm. Stephen Baldwin lives up there. What he was doing, on, he put on the, on the little county paper, and he went, I think, on a couple shows, including Stud. He was sitting out outside of strip clubs, recording license plates mm-hmm. of guys going in. He had a friend who was a cop. He'd run the check on the DMV. Oh. And they were married. This snitch was sending things and letters to these guys' wives. This is what, what a yeah, little yeah. bitch. Oh. Yeah, man. So all I got to say the show's a little gay, Stephen Baldwin, way gayer. Right. <laughs> yeah, thank you. show's a little gay, sure. but Stephen Baldwin beats us That's barely. It. Totally. <laughs> hey, you guys, how do we? How, how are we going to erase this this gay stigma? I ain't gay. Hmm. I'm not either. Well, I, there's doubts about you. That's yeah. true. You've admitted to Thank you. Listen, please. I'm I'm asking you, folks. Give us just give us a, a clean slate. Yeah, right from right now. Right. We're from right with a wiener on it. Oh, say, no, you a hot it. dog. Hot dog. Oh, hot dog. You can't mention uh, it. It's a hot dog. Hot you dog. can't mention it. And something, fine. something. You know, edible. Jesus. Oh, stop it. Hot dogs, edible, totally fine. Yeah. Get one on the street every day. Two bucks. I bet you do. <laughs> So All right, so no, no more gay stuff for right. just give me a time, uh, give me what for like a month, right? Yeah. A month, yeah. Okay. All right, fine. So let's we're gonna roll the interview. Oh yeah, and and find out why we lost every other celebrity. Right. It it, it was a short interview, so this was right, us was. yesterday mm-hmm. with bitch ass Baldwin, yeah. who now now because of him hanging up and getting upset, we won't have the magic that we could have with a whole bunch of other bigger A-listers. Yeah, right. thanks. Is my uh, microphone no. backwards? Uh, hello? <laughs> what? 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 What that? What? What I think? Come on! Oh, everybody knows this man. He's done great movies like The Usual Suspects and some stinkers like Biodome. I gotta call call you out on that one. Uh, he's got a brand new book out. It's called The Unusual Suspect. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Mr. Stephen Baldwin. What's up, Stephen? There is a generation of young people that would absolutely disagree with you, sir, mm. about the biodome factor. It wasn't you. It was Pauly Shore. My bad. He screwed that whole thing up for you. There are children across America worshiping biodome. <laughs> that is a lie. Yeah, come on now. And as a born-again Christian, you should know better than yes. to lie on radio That's stations. one of the top ten commandments. What's going on, fellas? Not much, buddy. What's up, man? I'm uh, I'm hawking the new book, man. Everybody's freaking over the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what's yeah. the freaking deal? What, yeah, what's, what's up? Deal what's, here? what's it doing? Hey, what's, what's come on, talk to us. Come on, what's come on what happened to you? Where'd you go through? What yeah, happened? Talk to us. Something, I mean, something, you got a book, like a big change or something? Yeah, yeah you're changing your life. Something, something, something like happened. I mean, you went through a transformation. They say, you know, you know, born again. Here I am. Who Jesus? Drink the wine. I'm going to wait for. But how do we know unless we read about it? That's what I'm saying. Uh. Uh, actually, you two just sounded like the demonic voices I've been delivered from. Ah, good. Now, now, you, now you're on medication. If you if you both talk at the same time, it's very, very confusing. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so I'll start. Okay, fine. Go for it. You are a born-again Christian. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And you want to tell everyone about it? Um, I want to share my experience with mm-hmm. folks, absolutely. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm just asking, why is that with born-again Christians? They can't just, like, <laughs> have it happen to them and just, you know, deal with Keep it. Keep it to themselves? Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't, after every haircut, go, guys, I got a haircut. I'm born again. Are you? Look at my haircut. <laughs> you know? Right. Why do you uh, born-again Christians need to tell me about it? Well, because, see, I represent the new breed okay. of born-again Christians. Mm. And and they're kind of trying to move the whole image of those words in, into the, the, the 21st century here mm-hmm. and, and, and hopefully move away from that whole dorky, cheesy thing that you're <laughs> referencing now. Amway. That's okay. Uh, you know, I, I understand. Uh, we, we've gotten a bad rap for many years, mm-hmm. but... Uh, there's a new radical movement. Amway. Coming, boys. Were there any other religions that you thought about trying before you jumped onto the uh, Christian deal? Uh, no, sir. No. It wasn't, part, wasn't part of God's plan. Okay. Hallelujah. Gotcha. Amen, brother. Um, did God talk to you and tell you you need to be a born-again Christian? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't say talk to me and said Old I need way. to be a born-again Christian. No. Emailed. No. Right. Spoke through say the again. crack pipe. Say again? No, he emailed you. Got yeah, it, yeah. yahoo.com? You don't get that? I'll, I'll hook you up with that. Oh, oh, oh. The, the, the holy hotline, baby. Yeah, Subway, eat fresh. 
So you were saying you uh, converted to Islam? No, 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 no. Oh, no. you don't like those people, is what you're saying. No, I, I They're not as godly as you. Okay. What about what the Pope said over the weekend? How well, do you feel I, about that? I think he made a boo-boo, obviously. Mm -hmm. In his drawers. But thing is, he was wearing a, a, one of them black cassocks, so I didn't even see it. All he could do is smell the son of a bitch. I mean, it, Pope poop stinks. Do you guys read books? Well, you know what? I used one as a doorstop and in my crapper in case I run out of some Charmin. Oh, my goodness. And I think I think your book's in there, along with the Bible. It's it's going to be my prayer. That yes, hallelujah. It's going to be my prayer. Get on your knees. That, that the Spirit of the Lord Jesus... Bring Jesus a to me. Come into your heart. And my soul and my culo. And I think the, the Pope needs some Imodium AD or something. That dude is a stinker. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> he can't think we're not... Uh, <laughs> uh, well, it wasn't me, dude. <laughs> I didn't do that. <clears throat> Let's go to James in Jersey. James, how are you? What's up, fellas? What's going on? All right, here it is. All these publicists are saying, we're not sending you this town, that town. You guys run an honest show that represents everything we want you guys to do. We don't oh. want you to kiss ass to these weak celebrities. They suck. Get them off. Exactly. Oh, that's a great point. Thank great you for the point, speech, James. right? That's a speech I'll listen to. That is strong. Let's go to uh, Mike in the Bronx. What's up, Mike? Oh, guys. What? what? You know what this nut did? What? Baldwin. He lived up in Rockland County. Besides doing the strip clubs, he had an adult video store closed down. Oh, wow. yeah, because okay. he lived he, near and, it. And then he turns around, and he moves out of the county. Oh, what a that. jerk. What a jerk. What an idiot. I wonder if he's making money on this stupid bug. I hope not. Well, And this is all a lead-up for this documentary that you were talking about, yeah, right? Right, right. Actually, Lou was talking about that. Yeah. W weren't you so talking about the documentary he's doing or the movie? No, Lou was talking about all the gay stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. Was it a documentary? <laughs> the documentary. <laughs> You, you, you were good for three and a half hours. Break time. You were what good. Can, can you? Three, four. We're back. What? Man. All my funny stuff, and there's not much. No. At, yeah. at you best. can count on it being dumped. Just dump, dump. The, yeah. the, I don't remember the movie, what it's about, though. Do you? No. Oh, okay. I don't have your mic on there. Yeah, check, no, check, check that, one, too. Right there. It's on some, my mic back. But it's on something Christian that he's trying to pump. No, there, he has a, uh, a a DVD or something like yes. that coming soon, a movie, a, a, a docudrama type thing. Mm. And it's the new hip way of getting Jesus oh. into oh. the lives of the youth. That's he's going to have, like, badass skateboarders and guys that can ride a... A motorcycle and board for and, Jesus, and X Games kind of stuff. Do a backwards flip, and then yeah. after you get off, you hallelujah. Yeah, Jesus, a savior. So it's, a, it's about making money. Yeah, oh. he, he doesn't care. He does not care. Yeah. And if, and if he is that Christian, I mean, if he's Christian, fine. But there is there is a, a such thing as okay, now it's it, it's annoying. That's too much. And him, for, for him to come out against Bono and you know criticize yeah. what Bono's done around the world. Yeah. Because you don't agree with it. Screw right. you. Let's All go right. to Dean in Jersey. Dean, what's up? Am I on the air? Oh, yes, you are. All right, yeah. I got the, the Esquire magazine with Stephen Baldwin. Is that a gay magazine? Uh, Yeah, pretty much. I okay, think. cool. <laughs> That's what I thought. Go ahead. All right. Uh, It just has, uh, like, all crap that he said to his friends. He uh, It says... Sometimes I like to ask my friends who are married and have a good relationship, how's your sex life? They'll say something like, pretty good, or I can't complain. Here's what I tell them. Imagine having your sex life and adding the power of God into that exchange. Oh, my what? God. This guy's a weirdo. That's freaking That's weird. Nuts. Add the power of God into your sex life? How does he have a friend left? I, he right. probably doesn't. Who would sit there? Nobody would listen to that crap. I mean, high, I would. If I'm yeah, high, oh. I would. I would, like, do that. I would do the math. Okay, so my sex... Stephen, you got My banging hit. power... Yeah. <laughs> By times, okay, time, times 10 yeah. to the fourth Talk to me, Steven. heaven dimension. I'm feeling you. Um, I'm feeling you. Nah, I'm not interested in God. I'll stick to banging. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs>